Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, The Painter with me, Sandwiches. <clears throat> it is episode 30, and we are trying to find intersection 5. Now, I went through this thing. Uh, I think I kind of cheated. Um, I mean, by cheated, I, I don't really mean, like, cheated, cheated, but, like, I, you know, got up there by sneaky means. Uh, so I didn't really light this area up too well. Uh, I don't think I need to go crazy on it, though, because, to be completely honest, there doesn't look to be much here. Um, uh, I I repaired my sword. Um, I did, you know, some, some housekeeping type stuff off camera, because uh, I know how much that uh, can add up if you're doing it on camera, and yeah, I just want to spare you guys that. Uh, so I already went through here, great. Um, soul sand, oh, hello. Okay, gotta, oh, oh geez, don't want to get knocked off there. Actually, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. There's actually water underneath me, so it wouldn't matter. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to go a little faster in this area, um, because there's not really a need to go slowly. We have a slight bank head. Um, uh, I don't believe there's anything down there. I will definitely check because I'm me. Um, but at first glance, I don't believe there's anything down there, so that's fine. Yeah, so we're going to continue on. So I went over there sneakily. Once again, sneakily. And... I need to top off my food. And my torches. Okay. Going alighting. We are going alighting, people. Jukes! Putting on jukes. It, it may or may not be one of my favorite things when uh, skeleton bow shots actually help you. Because so often in this game, they put you right where you don't want to be. And so every once in a while when they help you, it's like the best feeling. Get out of here. No one cares about you. Oh, another staircase. Oh, and a dips. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't believe I got through that whole crowd of mobs without any one of them doing anything to me. Um. Have been shot off there, but it wouldn't have made again, it wouldn't have made that big of a deal because there's water underneath me. More, uh, more gold. Bye bye. Alright, we're gonna take a breather. Uh, replenish torches. Man, I'm blowing through my torches. Yeah. 
Okay. You guys are just damaging yourselves over and over again. Like plebes. Uh, let's see if there's anything lovely for us in here. Oh, perfect. Actually, just what I needed. The rest isn't what I needed, but... Uh, yeah, so I'm... I'm at a point where I can craft potions now, so... That's pretty exciting, but uh, that being said, I'm still probably not gonna... Go crazy with the ingredients here. Oh, you know what? back. Um, I should go with that. That's fine. Blow up. Do not care. So now that I've gone through once, all these spawners should be There's a lot of torches over here, jeez. Oh! That's probably because... It's one of those little, little duders. Another one of those little duders. Alright, uh, don't take anything for granted. place to read this. It's going to be a little difficult, to be completely honest. Oh! I found it! Alright, let's take a breather. Take a breather here. No, enter this next room with moody brightness to achieve the full intended effect. Really? Oh my gosh. Talk about Mark Wahlberg and Shooter. Get out of here. Moody Brightness. Okay, um... I really don't like playing on Moody Brightness, so I might not do that. Huh, I see something is... Oh, I see... <laughs> gosh. I see something. Is it an exit? No, it's a, a gravestone. A large one. Something about this feels weird. I'm experiencing some kind of deja vu. Could this have possibly been the grave that I happen to be buried in? No, that can't be. I've walked and fought all this way, but I'm sensing some kind of connection, something very powerful. But I can't think about it now. I'm too weak. I don't have much time before I bite the dust. Who knows, though? I may just wake up once again, either in another grave or in the safety of my own home. That doesn't seem too likely, considering the writing abruptly cuts off. Yeah, it doesn't really seem too likely, in my opinion, either, bro. Oh my gosh, is that? Oh my gosh, it is. I believe this. So there you go. Have you started to piece things together yet? Struggled your way across those bridges and through the fortresses following the path of a lone traveler. One just like you. One whose life unexpectedly changed forever with a single event. One who fought off our soldiers in unforgivable environments. One who simply tried to persevere long enough to see his own home one last time. That's really sad, guys. Why'd you do that to him? All right. However, there is a difference between the two of you. He knows of a concept that you have yet to grasp, one that binds together life and death in a single powerful force, strong enough to leave even us at a loss for words. At least he knew of it. He doesn't anymore. That, now that his expedition has reached its end. Hmm. Hmm. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, meanie face. 
Oh, dang, I did hit him. I thought they hit the ceiling. Cool. You know, fate is a strange thing. It can cause you doom, but it can also serve as your salvation. Sometimes a person has much greater plans laid out for them than simply living their life and leaving without a fight. Don't get it? You will soon enough. Dude, seriously, is this void underneath me? I can't even tell. My, <laughs> I can't even tell. My monitor is uh, dark just by its own right. Uh, and so it's a little... Yep. Well, that's void. Oh, that's that's so mean. He put all this crap. Oh. Ooh. There could be some stuff up there. I don't think so, but there could be. Uh, final push. Intersection five. Brown. Green. Red. The canvas. And dot 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 and black. Okay. Um. Well, I'm definitely so we're at about eleven minutes. So I got about nine minutes left. I'm definitely gonna take a look in these areas. Hell bent bastion. Wow. Genesis Falls. Okay. I'm gonna take a look in Genesis Falls because it sounds less instantly kill you. Uh. But that could also be completely wrong. So I guess we'll see. Um. Oh. Is there a there is a treasure chest here. Uh, I'm definitely going to look at it because uh, because I have to, guys. Because I have to. Okay. Nothing underneath the glowstone on that one. Great. Uh, I will read this one. Hey, it's us, the gods. Have the titans gotten to your head yet? Hopefully not. Just keep fighting them back and eventually you can win. You're doing very well. well they're, they're very enthusiastic for needing me to save things. I don't even remember the backstory of this. Look up for a second. Do you see the light seeping in from the top of the chasm? The chasm? The chasm? The chasm? That's what little power of ours still remains here and it enables us to communicate with you. Oh, that's cool. We can't stay and chat for very long, so just remember this. By now you should only have six colors of paint left. Two of those being metallic, but this is where all the final challenges are being thrown at you. All the remaining areas are very large and even more challenging. Oh gosh. Just try to hang in there. This is the final stretch. Or the final sketch. But um bump. No, sorry. That was a bad joke. Uh, I will check underneath this one as well because I can't not. Okay. Nothing underneath that one either. Uh, the canvas, pierce the sky, and ellipses. Uh, I know. My jokes aren't. They're not good, guys. They're not good. That's all right. That's all right. All right, we're going to take a quick look in here. Remember, we're not going to get too bogged down with any fighting. If it's too hairy, then we'll just go and uh, take care of it later. Ourselves and the gods have been fighting for a very long time, long enough that our boundaries of conquered area have changed dramatically from what they once were. This entire batch of areas used to belong solely to the gods. In fact, this one in particular is where it can all be traced back to. This is the birthplace of the gods. hey -o. And let me tell you, this place has us stumped. Every time we've attempted to convert it into a usable source of power for our desires, it just changes back to the way it was before as soon as no one's looking. It's almost as if somehow being protected by the gods, even when they're as far away as they are who knows maybe that's why they're able to communicate with you here well they got their little they got their little <laughs> power hole <laughs> they got the little little their hole of power uh genesis falls my goodness uh this reminds me a lot of the river sticks um which to be honest Does not enthrall me like I thought it would. Does not. We got ourselves some blacks. Come here, you dumb spider. Uh, oh. It's weird that there was just random cobbles. Oh. <laughs> I guess if I looked around a little bit more, it wouldn't be that weird that there was random cobblestone.
All right. Uh... Boats, boats, boats. Huh. All right. Well, um we got little chandeliery looking things. We've got uh, gas spawners. Ugh. Ugh. Was that a pig? Did I see a pig? Looks like it curves up that way. All right. Cool. Well, we look. We looked. We look. We came. We saw. We didn't conquer yet. I have a feeling that phrase loses much of its meaning when you say it that way. All right, so that's cool. Genesis false. Um, got about four minutes left because I actually started my timer. Come on, who's proud of me? Who's proud of me? Woo, we're so proud of you. Yeah, probably not. I just pulled the Jim Gaffigan in there. Uh, you know, it, don't take offense. That's not necessarily how I really think you sound, but, you know, whatever. Heh, <laughs> look where you've been taken now. One of our own very... Wait, one of our very own heavily guarded fortifications. In fact, this is one of our primary outposts. Great. The only reason we are able to sustain it is because it's very close to our home, but that raises more questions for you. Why are you so close to our home world? Why do we have the paint you seek, and why is it so well protected? If all you're doing is making a painting, then why are we making it so difficult for you to do so? All, it will all be answered in time. Um, hmm. Big lava. Uh, that just, this just screams trap to me. I knew I was paranoid before, but I really it really seemed like a trap, guys. Come on. Somebody else saw it. It looked like a trap to them too. Alright. Uh, we're gonna take a look. Oh my. Oh my! Okay, um, yeah, like I said, not getting too bogged down in fighting. Well, at least I de-primed those spawners. Is there a word for de-priming something? Like if you don't, if you, if you don't prime it, and it's de-primed. Deactivate? I mean, I guess kind of deactivate, but that's not really what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, this is big. I've never I've never actually seen an intersection with more than four areas before. Uh, it's kind of a cool little uh, kind of a cool little thing. Uh, oh, we've got uh, thingy, and this is a teleport back to the canvas. Do I have anything important on me? No, of course not. All right. Um, we are almost at an episode. I hope you guys will forgive me for going slightly long um, because I really do want to take a look at these last two areas. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Um, these areas kind of scare me. Uh, from the, for the longest time, this grand tower was the gateway that the gods used to get from the mortal world to their own realm and vice versa, until we took it over. That is, we're not quite sure what that gateway is now, although we suspect that you've already run into it. But it doesn't particularly matter to us. Since then, we've converted it into a base of our own. We haven't bothered to replace the holy design and architecture because of how resource-intensive it would be, but we can assure you that you will not be safe in there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, sand. Sand is annoying because 
I'm always nervous that there's going to be death traps. Boom. Get out of here. Alright. Um, so it looks like we've got some fortresses with some sand. Oh my gosh. I'm going to... Uh, no, this, no, this is just scouting. This is just scouting. I really want to go further. Uh, but it's just a scouting mission, so I won't. Uh, we are at 20 minutes. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. We're going to have to keep the last episode till next... Wait. The last area till next episode. Just kidding. I would never do that because I don't want to do that. Right. Uh, ellipses. Yeah, I really, I really think there's got to be something up there. Caution. Final area. Important. This is the final area of the map and must be done last. That means every monument piece except for the black paint that includes the ore blocks must be on the canvas before you enter. Going in early counts as breaking the map's rules. All right. Well, yeah, I guess we will leave that till a uh, later episode. All right. Yeah, so we found intersection five. I'm going to, off camera, I'm going to go back through um, the uh, throne of ashes or grave of ashes or th grave of thrones or throne of graves or uh, ash of thrones, grave of ash thrones. Um, and I will definitely loot everything I can. Uh, do you know a little more exploration because there were a couple um, towers that I didn't loot and or didn't uh, get to so um, but yeah I'm I really like how this map has uh, escalated I mean I know I have 16 deaths so it's not like it's a uh, small number but I really do think that uh, this map has escalated very uh, smoothly um, so props to sketch he has done a great job so far I can't wait to see these final areas. Um, they're going to be big. They're going to be crazy. And, uh, yeah, I'm just pretty excited. So uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'll give you a nice look of the canvas for my sign-off. Thank you all for tuning in. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Same bad time, same bad channel next time on Sandwiches Plays the Painter for your entertainment. Until that time, stay hungry, everybody.